I don't know why I'm so solemn feeling about this. This should be a day of excitement and all of that, not only for the content that I can make on the channel, but what I can do to grow my community and get more connected with all of you to bring you information about Final Cut Pro and the iPad Pro and all that fun stuff. Apple, of course, launched Final Cut Pro on the iPad and it was a real bombshell announcement. I made a video about it. I'll link it down below. And I just knew, like, for me and my channel, I have got to go get an iPad Pro. I have an iPad Mini, which isn't supported with Final Cut Pro in the iPad. I need an iPad Pro. And I'm sitting here going, well, what's the least expensive configuration I can get? And then I start looking at all the things that you can get with the larger 12.9 inch iPad Pro, including reference mode, which is something that I wanna cover on my channel in Pro Post Workflows, how you can use an iPad like that in reference mode, even without Final Cut Pro on the iPad. And I just paid off my Mac Studio and my Apple Studio display and a couple other smaller Apple accessories that I financed through my Apple card. And I just have the M2 Pro Mac Mini. I have my Apple Watch Series 8 that I had to buy, even though I didn't want to. I'll link a short down in the description with what happened there. Anyway, so, oh God, um, I'm just like, pricing out an iPad Pro and some AirPods Max because I want to create like the ideal pro creative situation that Apple puts in their marketing. Like what does that workflow look like when you go all in with the Apple ecosystem for Final Cut Pro on the iPad and to create content around that. Also doing some live streaming where I live stream edit on the iPad Pro using Final Cut. I just see all this content possibility and I should go, look, this is gonna have some serious ROI. It's gonna be a big expense up front, but you gotta do it. And I, I know I do, and I will, and uh, I'm gonna go to the Apple store today and take you with me, you're riding shotgun, like literally, while I go to the Apple store to buy all this stuff, finance all this stuff. I just have this feeling of not fear or whatever, but it's almost like this like solemn, almost like dread feeling of putting more debt on my Apple card, even though I know long-term it's gonna pay off with content on the channel. That's all. I know Boohoo YouTuber has to buy iPad Pro and some cool stuff to, you know, make YouTube videos on the internet and earn a living from it, you know, wah, wah, wah. But again, without going too much into it, the things that my wife and I have done uh, since we left Los Angeles, just steeped in debt, my student loans, everything that we're doing to try to make headway on that, this that's clashing with going into debt for my business. Again, it's gonna pay off and you gotta pay to play. I need to invest in these things to create more and better content and build my community. But uh, it just feels so wrong to finance this $2,500 to $3,000, whatever it's gonna be with taxes and Apple Care Plus and all that stuff. So that's where I'm at. And I appreciate you all listening to me do my YouTube therapy session. Let's go to the Apple store and buy some stuff. All right, something I highly recommend before going to an Apple store to make a big purchase is to eat some food. It's 11 15, I'm starving. So I'm gonna go here to the French bakery with a tea Perry and Omaha and get some lunch. So hungry, I forgot to film it. <laughs> Can't go to Apple Store hungry, y'all. Got to load up on some carbs and gluten before you go to the Apple Store to make a big purchase. So yeah, don't forget that. I am no longer hungry. It's time to go to the Apple Store to get an iPad Pro and maybe a few other things. All right, so we made it. We are at the Apple Store. They're behind me. Time to go make uh, a big purchase to invest in my channel and uh, continue the Final Cut Pro education that we've got going on. So. Let's get in there and make that purchase. While I've been editing this, I've had time to reflect on why I was feeling the way I was feeling. The bottom line is I've got to step up to the plate. This is a big investment and I'm gonna have to do more than just make regular channel videos to get that ROI. And the other thing is, I don't really need an iPad Pro. If it weren't for Final Cut Pro being on there, I would never buy one. I would just use my iPad mini. And I think that combined with what I have to do to get this ROI is really overwhelming. All right, so here at the Apple Store and looking at the iPad Pro, we're looking at 1800 bucks for the one terabyte model with Wi-Fi only. And that feeling of like dread is still there. So I don't know why I feel this way. I just like, can't stand getting in $3,000 a day. Anyway, I have a lot of plans for what I'm gonna do. And I'm not gonna tell you all exactly what I have planned, 
for this Final Cut Pro for iPad stuff, but um, I've got a lot of work ahead of me, and I'm excited to do it. So let's buy this thing. God, I'm like nervous after buying all this stuff. It was like $3,000 to buy all this stuff. My God. All right, so let's talk configuration. I went with the 12.9 inch iPad Pro in space gray with a one terabyte SSD and Wi-Fi only, no cellular. I think the one terabyte SSD is that sweet spot for really being able to throw some heavy footage at this and see what it can do. All right, well, we did it. We bought all of the stuff, 3,000 bucks. Hope you guys are ready for some Final Cut Pro for iPad videos.